Day two dawned big and windy, as athletes were faced with some of the most challenging conditions yet for the World Series sprint racing format. No, definitely it's victory out seat right now. I mean, you got wind waves. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good conditions. I mean, a little smaller than yesterday, which makes it a little more manageable. And uh, should be a fun race today. Can't wait to see what happens for the finals. Oh, it's kind of pretty fun. I mean, just cool getting out and just cool coming in and challenging the win and everything. It's fun to be able to ride those big waves on the race boards. And even if you're behind, I ended up falling around the buoy and getting stuck with the leash. But, you know, it comes to whoever catches the best wave and doesn't fall on the wave. And it was great, and I think the long legs helped me on the run, so. Every heat featured an intense start, as athletes had to punch their way out through the surf to make it to the outside buoy, leading to a nail-biting finish as athletes navigated their way through the surf to the finish line. It's fun, it's uh, very fun to race in these conditions. So oh, it's perfect, very good. It's about as challenging as it could be, I think. So we'll see when the semis and finals should be interesting. You know, today is really interesting. I think you gotta be a strong paddler, but at the same time, wave luck's gonna come in. So really, whoever gets really lucky today is gonna have it because uh, if you are way ahead and a huge set comes, the guy on the outside can catch it all the way in. So, you know, I caught a small wave, but it was nice and easy and brought me straight to the beach and... The semi-finals saw two star-studded heats as the world's best put it all on the line to reach the prestigious final heat of the day. In semi number one, the pack was tight as Connor Baxter took the lead coming into the closing stage of the race. However, it was not over yet. It was Connor and I out front. We had a little lead build up, but then the guys came up from behind us and had a wave. Fortunately, I got on the wave. I think Connor kind of got off his board a little early, and it was a sprint up the beach, and I wound up in front. So, uh, Yeah, I mean, everybody was pretty close. Like you said, it's the semis, so the farther you get up there, the competition gets a little bit harder, and uh, everybody was super close. I managed to get a wave in front of everybody, went down, and uh, kind of was just pressured out seeing them right there. I was like, oh, what should I do? What should I do? And, uh, Decided to run, which probably wasn't the best choice, and uh, kind of was slow against the current and stuff, and they managed to catch a wave and uh, go right past me, but it was still super close, and uh, glad to see some starboard in there with Zane, and I uh, got Ka uh, Cody up there, of course, and uh, started to see all my friends in there as well, but uh, anything can happen when you're doing dealing with the waves, you know, dealing with Mother Nature, and today wasn't my race, but super stoked to be here. Now I get to spectate <laughs> and cheer them on, so we'll see what happens. We, we seriously got one of the toughest get outs that we've seen today. That was intense. It seems that you either get it easy on the way out or really hard on the way in or vice versa and we got it hard on the way out. Oh my god, full credit to Bailey. She's 16, toughing it out, just on her way back in now. And it takes serious balls to go out. The final was stacked with amongst the best athletes in the world as they scraped over some sizable sets towards the outside buoy before making the turn and powering in to navigate the surf to the finish. With a comfortable win in the sprints, Kai secures the overall win for the event with his second place in the long distance, continuing his blistering form from this summer as we come into the closing stages of the 2012 season.
Oh uh, well, I basically got a halfway decent start. I think everyone got a good start, and what really made the difference was sneaking out early because uh, I was kind of patient. I stopped paddling and would let a wave break and then paddle over it. Got lucky in that, and then the one thing I was worried about was coming upwind. You know, you could be way in the lead, but then all of a sudden the seg would come and everyone would catch it and pass you. And so that was about to happen. And usually every time there's a big set, there's always one smaller one in front of it. And I looked for that smaller one and I worked super hard to get on it. But once I was on it, I knew that if I just didn't curl on the inside double up, I was gonna have a shot at winning for sure. Florida's always been good, good people, good fun. Stoked we brought it here for Tococo Beach and uh, nature was a happy we came here too. They brought us really good waves. Uh, some very difficult conditions. You know, it came a lot down to technique and strategy out there. Um, I'm really stoked, you know, to, to be blessed making the final up on the podium to represent all my sponsors. It was good, it was a good day. We had a lot of fun passing the waves and catching them. The final was good. I got a clean non-runway, managed to pass all the ways without falling. Ended up using a production board that it was, you know, easy to pass the waves. And you know, like all the finish line, like at the end, it's everyone on the same wave. We had a big wave. Most of us fall at one point, and then we stood up and just like sprinted to the end. And you know what? I'm stoked. Also featuring on the podium for the overall result was an on-phone Fernando Stala from Mexico in second, Connor Baxter in third, and a tie for fourth place in the form of Zane Schweitzer and Ryan Helm, both excelling in the extreme racing conditions. Annabelle Anderson once again proved herself to be a worthy champion, with the Local Hero Award going to the young Bailey Rossin. So that's it for this dramatic leg of the Stand Up World Series in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Stay tuned to StandUpWorldSeries.com for the latest news, info and highlights from the Stand Up World Series.